Hey, so I got this uh, Xfinity or Comcast service. Absolutely hate it, by the way. I miss Optimum Online, even though that area is just terrible. So, I was always looking at this modem going, is this a Wi-Fi modem? They never even tell you this shit. The, well, the customer service is just absolutely terrible. Xfinity, Comcast, just trash. I learned so much when I had this one guy come here and actually fix the house. So it was all rigged up from whatever ever built this nonsense or lived here beforehand. It's all messed up and the dude fixed it for free. And he was from Brooklyn. So there we go. He was a cool dude. Taught us a lot of stuff. He was smart. Some like there was like a like an islander kind of guy, like, oh man, a noodle. He was a cool dude. So he hooked us up. We learned some stuff. Should have asked him about the modem. So apparently the modem also is a Wi-Fi modem. So I have a Wi-Fi uh, router, which I really want to get rid of. I would like everything hardwired, but these people I live with will just never go for that. But if I ever have my own house, we're going hardwired. So, there's a default uh, web address. It actually might be different than what I'm logging on to. But you do that, admin, password, and you can turn the freaking Wi-Fi off. See, that's bridge mode. I think this is something different, but I might have to enable this and then disable this. Because apparently Xfinity, they also use your own modem as a hotspot. So, like, anyone in the street can say, Oh, look, Xfinity hotspot. And they log into the shit, and they're using your modem, and you didn't even know it. There we go. Look, Wi-Fi off. It was on. See, there's a battery you can add on this junk or two, but... I got APC, I'll go fry it with some uh, simulated sine wave. So, <coughs> turn off the Wi-Fi, you go down here, Wi-Fi. Anyway, you got two things. Bam, 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 bam. I don't want to show my MAC address, if it's even there. You go edit, you go disable, right there. I'm trying to like do this when that show any information if you probably can. I wonder if you could fudge your MAC address on this. Maybe you can. There's ways to do that. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> I don't know nothing about it. <laughs> Alright, Brock. Oh, wait, broadcast. Oh, I want to disable this too. Broadcast the uh, network name. We're going to disable this as well if I can. Maybe I have to re enable it and then I don't want that. But that's how you do it. And then that bridge mode thing you can also turn off. So just disable that. And then that should turn off, but the router is still blinking that it has 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. So maybe I have to reset the router, or you have to disable that bridge mode, I don't know. And then apparently there's another thing you can do. You can turn off your Xfinity Wi-Fi home hotspot if you log in. And they don't want you to do it, because, oh, come on, you sure, you sure? Are you sure you want to turn off your public hotspot? And you're like, yes. Are you sure? Are you sure you want to turn it off? Yes. Are you sure? That's how the corporation works. Are you sure? So you do that, and we still have to figure out what our login is, because I ain't paying the bills on this shit, so I have no idea what the password is. So, uh, and then it comes out automatically, so we haven't been in this thing for, like, ever. So... I gotta figure that out and try to see if that's enabled too, but I don't think that would be now that the Wi-Fi is turned off, but I don't know. If, uh, you know, Comcast, Xfinity has the, uh, control. Even if you download shit now, they send you, uh, the letters now, Comcast. So you gotta go, uh, spoof your IP address. Unbelievable. Anyway, that's how you do it. Shouldn't be, uh, saying this to Comcast to be coming after my ass now. Or Xfinity. With my shoe shine. But yeah, they tell, there's so many of these people when I walk around with these stupid ass smartphones and I'm scanning for networks just to see if any bozos have opened one just for a joke. Um, there's so many of these things. Xfinity, Xfinity Network, Xfinity. Because every freaking modem is broadcasting that. And these, these people don't even know it. They just don't know. You know, who, who knows this shit? Nobody. They just know how to buy stuff. They know how to log on to Amazon.com and click the buy it now button or buy button or ebay and buy it now button and that's it that's all they know how to do and go on youtube and write nasty shit to people or thumb up and thumb down videos that's it man so learn 
learn this very easy and if it, this video makes no sense to you just google it how to disable your Wi-Fi on your uh, Comcast or Xfinity modem it's gonna be a nice step-by-step -step page I'll try to link everything that I came up with in the description box and what's strange is that the 2.4 is still blinking but the 5 is not I don't know, maybe I gotta reset this, or maybe the 2.4 is still active. I did disable this too, the WPS button. That's all disabled, the network uh, SSID is disabled, so it's not broadcasting. But on the side of this thing, they actually give you, if it's like a new one, they give you uh, a network name, the SSID, and the password, which I'm looking at right here, which I'm not going to show you all. Yeah, network name too. Okay, so that's for the fast one. You see 2.4, it ends in, and then you, uh, that's the slow one, 2.4, and then the fast one ends in a uh, 5, and then you have a pass a password. Okay, so that should not be uh, active anymore. There we go. Maybe I gotta reset this. Maybe I have to enable and re enable, I mean, disable and then re enable bridge mode, and then that should uh, get this out of here. But yeah, who would ever know? Xfinity, they lie to you, they don't even tell you anything about this shit. They just want you broadcasting out there in the street. And we also had, this was right here, an Xfinity hotspot. So then we had to log on to her account. I'll give you that direction too, a link in the description, and turn that off. Because God forbid if there was like a power outage, and let's say I got the UPS now, and this thing would be powered up, and possibly I would have internet. Uh, anyone on the street, if they have an Xfinity or Comcast, well, Xfinity, Log in, they can just do that, bam, they'd be on your shit in a laptop or a smartphone, whatever. Doing whatever the hell they want. They could be downloading shit, slowing you down, and but the Xfinity will say, It doesn't affect your network. Bullshit. Anyway, that's that. We got Asus now, which we had. And I want to put a switch onto this thing, because this thing's packed. And I'm probably running in my room. And then I want a, uh, a cloud backup. I'll, I was just a little out of time we're building this shit. Costs a lot of money. But yeah, this is my new hobby. I'm really not too good at this, but I'll get better. Yeah, I think I said this. Bridge mode. The main thing, though, is this uh, web page. You log in, admin, password, and you can change it. I just changed my password. So that's cool. A little more safety concern. Uh, yeah, bridge mode. Enable that. And you're going to have... Uh, I don't know, I guess I just effectively reduced the microwave effect in uh, this place. Now I have the cell phone tower, or two of them, and the uh, the Wi-Fi router. That's microwaving my brain instead of two 2.4 and 5 gigahertz networks, which they had, and I wasn't even using them.